you know when you have that look and you're just like I'm that girl in that look this is the look that I feel like I'm that girl well mind you I feel like that all <laughs> regardless What's up? It's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is the last outfit haul I will be creating for 2022. What a year. It has been an amazing year. It has been such a pleasure and such a joy to create outfits for you guys and to share them here with you guys and to inspire you. Um, it's been a great journey and I cannot wait to share all all the amazing things that are going to happen in 2023 so stay tuned but i'm not gonna go over and over about 2020 i have a separate video for that so stay tuned for that but this video is featuring winter looks i figured you know what why not create a video that kind of highlights some of the pieces that you guys have seen in previous hauls throughout the year and just kind of restyle them a little bit, take some festive pieces and just kind of create outfits that, you know, can be worn beyond the holiday season and during the holiday season. I will also do a video in January just showcasing how you can take all those festive pieces and wear them every day. But I figured, you know what, why not do one last outfit featuring outfits that you can wear now, you can wear later on in the year, and that are just elevated, chic, and all that good stuff. So, if that sounds like a vibe to you, keep on watching the video. Um, just go ahead and like, because you guys know I deliver every time, so you know it's going to be good. It's Actually, it's really, really good. It's really good, if I, if I say so myself. Anywho, if you're new, welcome. I'm Moni, and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based out of Atlanta. And if you love fashion, fashion, and more fashion, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. We do fashion here, especially... A, a lot of high-low fashion however in addition to fashion I also do do um, I travel a lot so I bring you guys along in my vlogs as well as home decor I'm kind of obsessed with home decor and guys my office is finally gonna be done so I'm gonna share that with you guys either in January or February so stay tuned for that but anywho if that all sounds like a vibe to you, just go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you never miss a video. Also, if you guys need style inspiration in between these YouTube videos, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's Odd by Monty on Instagram, as well as on TikTok. I'm finally finding my rhythm on TikTok, so I'm posting very often. And it's just, I think with TikTok, there's you don't have that added stress of everything has to be perfect, everything has to be curated, like Instagram. And I started when Instagram started, so I'm really from that, you know, curated mindset but you know i've been able to kind of like you know do take that out of my head basically and just share authentic what's going on and that's why i love youtube too because i feel like i can do that more here but anywho check out my tiktok check out instagram it's odd by money on both platforms let's get into the video there's six amazing outfits that you guys are going to love let's get into it all right, so look number one features this amazing skirt. I know you guys remember this. This was in my affordable holiday outfit video featuring items from Express. I had to style this dress, um, skirt rather, again, because it's stunning. I styled it, you guys loved it with the pink sweater. So I ended up getting this red sweater, also from Express, with the little hole at the back. It's a perfect match with the skirt. It is an absolutely stunning set. Like, I. I think I knew it was a set when I bought it, but I wanted to do something different, but I had to go back and get the set because I love a good set. However, when I threw it on my body, because I'm a little bit more narrow, I felt like, you know, this looks really good. However, I needed something else to disperse it up and just break the red a little bit. So I introduced this old White House black market belt. I'm not sure if the brand still offers it. If they do, of course, I will link it for you guys, but it doesn't have to be this exact belt, right? The whole idea is breaking up the red a little bit, singeing the waist just a little bit, especially if you're straight and you want a more defined waistline, then you can add a belt to kind of singe the waist in really well and just to create a more of a narrow silhouette and break up the colors. 
Also, I'm wearing these gorgeous Mac and Mac booties. I love these boots. They're everything. Um, they're not the exact match with the color of the belt, but it's similar enough that it, you know, allows the two pieces to come together seamlessly, and I love that. Um, this look is very chic. You can wear it now for the holidays. You can wear it to work. This is a great work outfit. It's clean. It's classic. But because the knit on this is really thick, it's not too clingy, so it's not inappropriate, but it's just very chic, very classic, ladylike. I love it. I love the pieces together. Okay, so for a bag, I did my Lady Dior just to complement the red. I feel like I'm having a red moment. I feel like my red moments are always this time of the year. I think always. But anywho, we're loving the red because red looks fabulous on me. And I'm sure red looks fabulous on you. Red is just one of those colors, especially a red with a blue undertone. Looks great on everybody. So always try to opt for those reds with a blue undertone. Then again, it really depends on your skin color too. So if you have more of a warmer undertone, you might want to do an orangey red. But I still honestly believe that blue reds are the most flattering reds. And they're the strongest. They're the, you know the strongest hue of red. <laughs> Anywho, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, to finish the look, I included my Sandro off-white coat. You guys have seen this in my coat video. If you have not watched that coat video and you went out to buy coats, you need to watch that first before you buy any coats because the video is everything. And you guys are so good. You helped me decide like, you know, which coats to get in or keep and all that fun stuff. But anywho, I threw the coat on it. It just elevates it. There's something about winter white that just looks so chic and put together. And it just complements all the details so it complement the coat complements the boots complements the belt and it's just the perfect look i am obsessed with this outfit like i said chic elegant perfect for play perfect for work name it you can wear this too i love it on to the next Now, if you are following me on Instagram, you already have seen this dress from GSTQ. I am obsessed with it. This is why I love my job. I love when I get to work with brands that I truly love. I feel like GSTQ is one of those brands that just is me. It They take a lot of classic or what would it be classic silhouettes and give them a modern trendy twist. And I love that. Like that gives me joy. So with the latest collaboration we did for December, you know, it was, you know, kind of holiday dressing and all that fun stuff. And this trench coat, well, it's kind of, they, they, they coin it as a convertible trench. So for me, as much as I would wear this as a jacket, I'm wearing it as a dress. I'm, I'm wearing it every way, every way possible. Actually, I'll insert some of the pictures from Instagram to just to show how versatile it is. So I dressed it up with, um, I think I, I styled it three different ways on Instagram. Actually guys, just go to Instagram and check it out, but I'll insert one of the looks and check out the rest of the looks because they were everything. But you know, I made them very, ca I made it very casual. I made it dressy. So I figured, you know what, to bring it out here to YouTube because some of you guys don't have um, Instagram. I wanted to still style it up, let you guys see the look, but I decided to swap my um, Saint Laurent platforms that I originally styled them with with my Amina Mwadi, this beautiful blue hue that I just, I'm obsessed with. And I paired it with the dress this way to really just elevate it and show a very chic, a very posh way to wear a trench dress. Um, and I love it. I feel like that pop of color just does the job. It's so beautiful. I also introduced my Bulgari little bag. I cannot remember the name of the, the, the artist that they partnered with, Mary something it's an old partnership these bags i don't even think they're available anymore but it's one of my favorites the color is amazing i think i will always keep it but the way it just looks against the black it's almost like the black is framing the pieces but at the same time the dress is so substantial and it's such a great piece that it really holds its own I love this. Make sure you, when you guys go to Instagram to see how I style this, let me know which way was your favorite and maybe put like three black hearts so I know that you guys saw it here on Instagram. Sorry, here on YouTube, not Instagram, we're on YouTube, we're on YouTube. You guys saw it here on YouTube um, and you love the dress as much as I do. There are so many favorites in this haul that it's hard for me to really say that, oh my God, this is a favorite or that's a favorite, but I have to say I love this. I will wear it during the holiday season. I will wear it 
throughout the year. I wore it as a jacket. It's just one of those pieces that keep on giving. And I feel like these are the pieces that need to be in your wardrobe, guys. Pieces that you can wear multiple times. I know the last time I checked when I was getting the post ready, the, this was actually on sale. Um, so if it's on sale, please indulge yourself. I don't even make a commission off of it. This is one of the brands that are, are I'm, I don't link, because I. but I'll, I'll actually put the actual link there. But it's just one of those pieces where you're like, almost like you guys are my sisters and I'm like, I want y'all to have this because it's so good. Pretty much everything, to be honest. If I'm showing it to you guys, just know that I love and I'm obsessed with it. But I especially love pieces like this that you just get your cost per wear. You can wear it so many different ways. It looks different every time and I'm here for it. Anyway, clearly I love the dress. I'm gonna stop rambling and go to the next um, look because there's a lot of really good looks left over. So on to the next. was from a collaboration that I did with Madewell. I actually went to New York to shoot the look. I loved it. Um, I posted on Instagram. I felt like the way I, because when you work with brands, they make you wear head to toe from the brand. Um, not all brands, but most brands. Um, especially if the brand carries shoes and they have bags and Madewell has everything. I picked this um, jumpsuit because I knew the potential the way I had to style it on Instagram because um, Madewell doesn't have any heels that I personally loved so I styled it with loafers I made it very casual cool we did a lot of layering but I was just like when I do this in a haul or when I step out with it again I want to completely switch it up and that's what I did with this look I'm like I am dressing this up I'm going to show you how to make a denim jumpsuit Denim jumpsuit, yes, this is a great one, but we're going to elevate it in a way where it's like, oh, uh, and that's what we did with this look. I love this outfit. So denim jumpsuit, great fit, love the stitch detail. It's a really good contrast to the denim, to the blue, um, and it just looks really good. The pockets, the top, we love it all, right? So my thing was, I need to elevate this. I need to dress it up. I introduced my Manolo Vlonix in that beautiful indigo blue, stunning. Jumpsuits like this really need height. Like, I, the way I styled it was with a bit of a platform loafer, but because the loafer is a flat loafer or a flat form, it, doesn't, it didn't do what this needed. This needed a heel to elongate, to ensure that the hem of the denim lays flat, right? Without bunging at the hem. So it's just a straight sitting hem. So it's very important. If you get this, guys, when you wear it, even if you wear it with boots or casual shoes, Make sure you're wearing it with something that has a height and an instep and not a flat um, platform or shoe or whatnot. But anywho, did it with my Manolo Blahniks. Love the way it looks. It's so chic. And then I had to add my Kelly. Oh, and you know, the Kelly just elevates anything. So with the shoes and the bag and it's just a vibe like this is so chic. This is you showing up somewhere that the dress code is casual, but you're like casual for what? I'm gonna be casual with my denim, but I'm going to bring it in every which other way. And that is what this outfit is. I love it. And of course, I really wanted to play off of the blue, so I introduced my blue Loewe sunglasses. And I love this look. Um, another fun thing I did, and you don't have to necessarily do the vest with it, but you could introduce a fur vest. I introduced this gorgeous fur vest that I, well, it's faux fur, rather. It's not real fur. And it is from White House Black Market. You guys are following me on Instagram. You've seen that vest already. Um, it's absolutely stunning. I love it. It's actually super warm. I had to take it off real quick because I was getting really hot. So if you're going somewhere where, you know, casual, cool, you want to look chic, you want to look put together, you want to stand out and turn heads and look better than everyone else because it's a casual look, this look is for you, right? We love. I love this look. Love the outfit. Love the jumpsuit. Of course, I will link everything for you guys, and you all can thank me later. And it doesn't even have to be this exact jumpsuit. Guys, the idea is... Go and shop your wardrobes. I, that's what I did for this haul. I took things that I had seen already. I took things that were particularly on sale to also benefit you guys. If you decide you do want to do any last minute shopping before the year ends, they're on sale so you get good deals. But anywho, if you have a good jumpsuit, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's dress it up. Let's not keep it casual and simple, but let's dress it up. Let's elevate it and let's turn heads. On to the next. <music> Next 
look, two pieces I love. First of all, this gorgeous sweater. I didn't even realize that I got makeup on it, but the show must go on. Y'all get the gist, makeup or not. This sweater is from White House Black Market. I love it. Shot with it. Um, also, I actually shot a campaign outside of their White House Black Market campaign with this because I loved it. I did something with American Express, and this is what I wore. To me, this is just the perfect, fun, festive sweater that you can wear now, but take it into the year. You know, wear it with denim, wear it with dress pants, wear it so many different ways. I love it. I also feel like a sweater like this is a great layering piece because it is a loose knit. I love the fact that you've got little, you know, little sequins here and there that's kind of tucked into the knit. So it's not in your face sequins. You also have the feather detail, which I feel like is so much fun. I love this sweater. It's very comfortable, very easy to wear and very dressy. But can we have a moment for these pants? Oh, they're gorgeous. So these are jeans. Black denim, but with a sequins front. I love this. Another cool thing about these jeans is they've got um, a raw hem, which is just amazing. I love these. So I originally got these when I did that affordable outfit haul with Express. I just never wore these. So now I'm so happy I actually get to wear them. And I'm going to wear them during the holidays. They're definitely coming with me. I love these. Like, they're everything, and the fit is great. The only issue I had was I found that the um, I had a little bit of gaping, but, you know, I've got a little bit of a, a bubble butt. So for those of you guys that are not familiar, I am about 5'6", height. Um, I wear a size small. I'm a true size small. I am a true size 4. I am a little bit more narrow, and I've got a little bit of a bubble butt, and I'm straight. So it's not always easy to find perfect fits I do tend to find a lot of perfect fits but every now and then you don't find the perfect fit so with this one I did have a little bit of extra gaping at the back so ideally I should take this in have it um, taken in at the back or wear it with the belt so keep that in mind if you are a bit more narrow that's kind of how the fit of these jeans are on me funny enough I, I have a, a few of um, I have a few pairs of denim from Express and this is probably the only pair that I have that didn't lay flat because I feel like Express is really good when it comes to the fit of their denim especially if you have curves it's weird because I'm straight but I'm curvy but anywho that's how God made me anywho I love this look I love these pieces how did I style it oh I decided to do heels because I'm like you know technically Yes, it's cold and heels during the cold season, but you know, there's a lot of us that still wear heels, especially if you live in Atlanta where the weather is not too cold. You could easily throw a long maxi coat, have your heels, you're going from the car or from valet to your event, you're not really outside. But if you are outside, I would say go for a high pointy boot that would do the same job that the heels did. And my, the heels I'm referring to obviously are my um, Jean Benito Rossi heels. I love them. They've got the, the rhinestone, which does a great job of complementing the stone or the sequence detail in the sweater. And I love it. For a bag, I did my Gucci bamboo top handle. Great bag. It complements everything. This is more of a casual, cool look, but the shoes, the bag really elevate the look. And I love that. I love that you can actually have sequins, you can have feathers, but you can still look casual with these pieces. And I'm here for that. So outside of the holiday season, let's, you know, swap those shoes for sure for those pointy boots that I was mentioning. You can do a platform boot. You can even do, there's, they, the heels don't have to be super high. The whole idea is that they're slim, they're narrow, and they're pointy because I think that will best complement the jeans. The jeans will frame the boot really well and it'll elevate it. So you want a little bit of height or else you might look a little short and stumpy. But anywho, love, love, love this outfit. On to the next. So the next look features two pieces that you guys are familiar with. First, these shorts from Urban Revivo. Um, I partnered with them earlier on. I love these shorts. I created a few looks with the shorts, and I'm like, they're the gift that keeps on giving. When you have pieces that have multiple colors like this, you can constantly wear them with different things. You can make them totally new every time, and I love that. And then this sweater. Oh, well, let's, okay, let me correct that. When you guys saw the sweater... I had it in pink, but I loved it so much, I had to get it in the brown, and it is absolutely stunning. I haven't even taken the tags off. For some of the stuff, I, you know, or at least this one, I, this was my first time wearing it, and it's just as beautiful as the pink. I know the pink sold out real quick, so I'm sorry. 
Hopefully they might restock, but the brown is just as fabulous and it looks great against my skin. I love it. I love it. The bow detail is everything. And it looks great with the shorts. It's a totally different look. To me, this was a bit of a like, okay, let's give it a try. Let's see. Let's see how much I love this outfit. And once I put everything on, I was like, yes, this is a winner. I love this look. So, you know, it's cold outside. We're keeping in mind this is for winter. This is for fall. So I was like, okay, if I'm going to wear shorts during the winter or fall, either I'm wearing pantyhose with them or I'm wearing them with knee-high boots and then throwing an oversized coat over the look. So with this one, I did my St. Laurent Western boots. They look great. They complement this beautiful caramel of the sweater. They complement the short. They just do a great job of complementing everything, especially because they have that black stitch so it goes well against the black of the shorts. So yes, love, love, love this outfit. For in terms of a bag, I did my um, Fendi first clutch. I feel like I don't wear it enough, so I'm just trying to force myself to make sure I'm wearing it because it's such a great bag. And it just looks great with this outfit. I'm obsessed with this look. Absolutely fabulous. Totally a vibe. Very different, especially for the winter holiday season. And I love it. On to the next. guys last but not least features some of the pieces that I'm wearing ah this cable net off the shoulder sweater is gorgeous it's also from GSTQ as well as this leather skirt it's got the full wrap detail I am obsessed the first of all the skirt feels like butter it's definitely lambskin actually I didn't check for sure but it feels like lambskin if this is if they got cowhide to feel this smooth then well done to them um, but this is an amazing brand if you guys are not familiar with GSTQ it is a it's it's a brand started by a woman of color. If I'm correct, she is Afro Latina. But just check her out. Um, check out the website. Like I said, I'll leave, link everything. But I have more details on Instagram. Um, but I just I love this stuff. Like I truly love this stuff. Like, can we have a moment? So first of all, the collar detail just frames the choker. I And this choker is the gift that keeps on giving. It's probably one of my best purchases this year. But I love it. On Instagram, I think I, I wore the sweater a little different. I didn't have it off the shoulder. I had it a little bit up so it could really frame my choker really well. And then it's got the slits. You've got the slit detail on the sleeve so it kind of shows off your arm candy. And I love that. And the sleeves are a little bellowy too. And then the skirt. It is a little big for me, um, but not too big. It's something that I might... Take, get taken in but I don't think it, it doesn't really bother me that much so I think I would just leave it the way it is the uh, skirt is nice and high like I said it's got that full wrap detail but it's also um high low hem so I like that so one part of the hem is a little longer and shorter on the other side which is also really cool a very fun style detail and then I introduced the vest oh this vest is every, I love this vest. Like, it's so cool. I love that it's got the jawstring at the back. I love that you've got the slip pockets, the snap closure. It's just so easy to wear. And it also comes in like a brown color too. I only got the black color, which I love. Um, but yeah, I paired everything together. Um, when I originally styled this look for Instagram, I wore it with my Mac and Mac um, ivory boots. But I wanted to do something a little different this time around. So I styled them with my um, Valentino platform boots and you guys see the look is everything it is so good anywho the outfit is so good I love this look I also introduced this oversized black clutch it's by Ella in partnership with my girlfriend Sasha um, they did a fun little partnership on these bags I love this bag I, I feel like, why did it take me so long to get an oversized black clutch? I don't know, but I'm happy I have this one. She was very generous, and she sent it to me all the way from Toronto. Um, but the bag is everything, y'all. Like, it is so good, and it looks so good with this outfit. The leather on the bag is everything. Just all the pieces. You know when you have that look, and you're just like, I'm that girl in that look? This is the look that I feel like, I'm that girl. Well, mind you. I feel like that all <laughs> regardless but anywho I love this outfit I love this outfit you guys let me know which outfit is your favorite because I have to say this is very hard this will be one I know a lot of times you guys are like yeah we love them all it was hard to pick that I feel like this video was one of those videos where it's just it's hard to pick like there's just so many good ones so many good ones
Anywho, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a joy to create this haul. It's the last haul. I still can't believe it. But thank you so much for watching. I'm just going to say thank you for liking because I know you guys are my people and I know you took the time to like and I thank you for commenting. Um, I know I was very tardy towards the end of the year in terms of getting back to the comments, but I'm reading them and I'm going to try my best to make sure that, you know, I'm on top of all the comments, but just thank you in advance for leaving your comments. I truly, truly, truly appreciate them. Um, don't forget to let me know which outfit was your favorite. Um, I have a few favorite. Well, I love them all, but I want to know which outfit was your guys' favorite. Uh, don't forget to check me out on Instagram in between all of these hauls and all the videos and all that fun stuff uh, my goal is to really take um two weeks off in december and two weeks off in january and i'll let i think the last video going live will be on the 18th um and i'll talk more about that on that video but yeah that's just been a pleasure this year so far it's been a pleasure creating the outfits thank you thank you thank you if you guys need style inspir well if you guys have watched all my videos and you still need more style inspiration, then just go to oddbymonica.com. There's tons of style inspiration, especially check out the What Would Monty Wear page. Um, there's outfits for brunch, lunch, church, name it, there's something there. Um, weddings, whatnot. So just check it out. Have fun on the website. The holiday page is still up. Um, so check out the holiday page. Check out, just have fun there. There's so much. There's so much. It's 10 years old. We turned 10 this year. So anywho, thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. If you've been rocking with me this long and you haven't subscribed, guys, what are we waiting for? Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you never miss a video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you next year for the next outfit haul. There, there's going to be, I think there, there will be two more videos after this. But in terms of outfit hauls, this is the last one. So there will be a vlog and there will be, I think there's, there's going to be a few more videos if I'm correct. Anywho, just keep on watching or subscribe. That way you don't miss anything. See you in the next one. Bye, guys.